That's my baby. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get here about six and uh, do a quick pre-flight, a second one because I did one tonight, and then check the fuel for contamination, and then it wheels up at sunup. Yeah, Carl bought. The, you know, had to sell his Hummel there because you can only have what one or is it ten planes? I'm not sure. Got this uh, Zenith 650 with a Lycoming 235, and uh, flew it for a while with the kids. Upgraded to a new propeller, and uh, yeah, basically just started kind of pouring money into it and realized the engine was a little bit old. So maybe time for a Viking 130 upgrade. Cool little elbows and whatnot from Viking. They put together a good uh, package. Well, they make you watch a shit ton of videos. <laughs> First time ever using these little clamps on the whole system. It'll be sweet. It's just like a car. I get a kick out of this. It's a heater core. <laughs> it's neat. But, uh, yep. The Viking mate whipped this up for me. Oh, yawn. He's, uh, Trying to save me a whole shit ton of time, so he sent this to me. This isn't mom, it was just sitting there. But. Yeah, pretty sweet. John, he's a, he's a craftsman. Classy ECU. But my parts table is getting smaller and smaller, and that is freaking exciting. So, when that table's empty, that means I get to fly. Carl bought a lot of accessories, little terminals and wiring and all that, and worked for days. Of course, it takes more than one to build an airplane, so here he is with his wife that's been supporting him. It's alive! This is Dean Phillip from New Zealand. Um, I've just finished putting in my uh, Viking 130. About to give it its first uh, kick in the guts. And we'll see how it goes, eh? We've got a Viking view for those. Here we go there. Fuel. Woohoo! It's alive! Yeah. Running good. Nice and quiet. Smooth. Bad ass. Boys, is it running or what? Now clean up my shop. I, uh, yeah, when I work on things, it's a war zone until it's done. But the prop is on. Look at that. Oh, so sexy. If, uh, I wasn't doing my avionics, I would uh, be able to fly this this weekend, but, uh, oh well, anyways, yeah, looks good though, exhaust is cut through, oh, it looks sweet, all my hinges are in, so it's just quick and easy, pull this out, pull this out here, and there's another one on the other side, and the whole top comes off, and then two hinges on the bottom, and you decoweled the plane. My contactors, my engine power boss, my engine grounding boss, they don't want nothing else avionics-wise connected to these. That way the fuel-injected motor is protected. My, uh, my new column, my throttle, the hole to the right of that, it's gonna be my flat switch. <sighs> battery one, battery two. And you can hear my fans going. Both fans. That's for the cabin heat. It's all done with the engine, and then uh, here's the old panel, lots of wires and stuff, so maybe time for a new panel as well.
panel is going to be all carbon fiber wrapped and uh, in a gray charcoal carbon fiber. That square box is my main screen. And of course building airplanes are not free so here's Carl working on his uh, professional job up in the bucket truck and keeping the city powered up with electricity.